Hey guys, welcome to my music studio. Today we are going to be talking about shoulder rests and chin rests. Um, my name is Amber. I've been a um, music student all of my life. I, there's not a time that I don't remember playing um, the violin. I started with the violin. I'm a violist now. Um, I'm actually a professional violist and violin and viola teacher here in Philadelphia. So I do know <laughs> a little bit about finding these two things and I know that they are very difficult to find. So I just wanted to give you some ideas and some things to remember when you're looking for this setup. Um, so there are a couple of really important things that you want to consider when you're looking for a shoulder rest and chin rest. And by the way, this search is, you know, until you're actually comfortable, like completely comfortable, this search is like never ending. <laughs> So I just happened to find this. I've been using this setup for, you know, five, six years, so a long time, and it's helped me so much to grow as a player because I've become comfortable. And until I was able to actually become comfortable on my instrument and have that ease in my body, there was no way that I could actually, you know, improve my playing and get to that next level of technique and musicality and all of those things that come with um, playing a string instrument. So, okay, the first thing that you're gonna wanna consider is that your body, when you have this instrument up here, it should just be like an extension of your body, meaning that you're not gonna have to contort yourself in like a weird way, you're not gonna have to hunch your shoulder up to, to the instrument to hold it there and keep your head like this or do some weird body contortion to hold up an instrument. You should just be able to put it there, rest your chin down, just like you're a normal, normally standing or just whatever posture, good posture that you have. Um, you should just be able to put it there, and there it is, without any extra, extra strain happening in your neck or weird things in your body, okay? The second thing that you wanna consider is actually the angle of the scroll, okay? So I'll just get up for a second so you can see. But you see how my scroll is actually pointing this way, like directly horizontal? It's not at an angle pointing down like this. It's not up here like this. It's just actually straight across. The reason that this is really helpful and advantageous in your playing is that we're gonna be having a bow here. Let me just grab my bow, okay? So if this, if the, and it's not tight, but if the angle of the instrument is actually pointing down, so will the bow, and the bow is gonna fall. So you're gonna be working against gravity <laughs> to prevent this from falling, okay? So if it's just up here, then you don't have to work against gravity. It's just gonna be held there right in place. Super advantageous, it's great, okay? Um, also, it's really good for your head and neck to not be having to keep something from falling down, okay? That's gonna make you hunch over, it's gonna cause lots of neck, head problems. Um, it's just really not a good thing to do to your body, okay? Especially for long periods of time. The third thing that you wanna consider is actually the angle of the instrument itself. So you, what you also don't want is for the instrument to, let me see if I can show you. You don't want this to happen. You see how the angle of the instrument is actually on the side here? That's also really on, helpful with the bow because you're pressing it into the string instead of just having it rest there. So you have to work harder to keep it there. So if it's just at an almost flat angle, there's gonna be a little bit of a tilt, you see? But the angle itself is not vertical. It's more towards a horizontal level. It's very, very, very helpful. Um, there's another thing that you also wanna consider, number four. Um, I'll just throw it in there, is that you kind of don't want the instrument to be slipping this way um, or slipping at all. You just want it to be able to be in this normal position or whatever position that it, it rests in all the time. The reason for that is, is that if your instrument likes to go this way, now your bow arm and the geometry there is all different because the angle of the instrument is different. So um, try and get something that will just stay in place. You wanna be able to move around with it, yeah, definitely, up and down, um, looking around, whatever. Um, 
But you don't want the instrument to be sliding or slipping around. It should just be there. Yay. Okay. Um, now, the two things that I have, the shoulder rest and chin rest that I use, I love them. So I'm going to share them with you. You might not like them. Um, and I would love to know what you use and what your students use. But um, for me, this is just has been so helpful and I really am more comfortable than I've ever been and that's that has been for five or six years I forget how long it's been terrible memory with time but anyway this is the Whitner hypoallergenic chin rest it's a side mount and it's not a bonus that it's actually hypo hypoallergenic but the other thing that I really like about it is the fact that it goes over the tailpiece here because a lot of people I see, my students, uh, before they, when they first came to me, um, or just, you know, even professionals, their chin is actually resting on the tailpiece. This is the tailpiece. And a lot of chin rests actually, they don't go over the tailpiece like this. You see? And it's not actually touching the tailpiece. Um, you don't want anything to be touching this tailpiece because this vibrates when the instrument vibrates. And also, if you're pressing down on it, it's going to affect the intonation of the strings, the resonance of the instrument, just avoid. <laughs> you can't. Okay, so that's another reason why I like this chin rest. It comes in two varieties. There's one center mounted. This is the side mount. I really prefer the side mounted chin rest. I, I did um, use a center chin rest at one point. I pretty much used everything under the, under the sun um, throughout middle school and high school until I found this. and. So that's why I kind of wanted to share it with you guys because I just feel like it's such a great thing for me and maybe it'll help some of you because I know how frustrating it is to have to play and practice for hours and you're so uncomfortable and you're just so focused on that and you can't really grow as a player or do technical difficult difficult things um, because your your body is holding you back because there's so much there's so much energy being wasted there when it could be just, you know, used in such a better way. Um, so this is the Bon Musica shoulder rest. It's great because you can actually bend it to fit your shoulder exactly. So it doesn't actually come like this. <laughs> it comes more straight, but I've actually bent it in this arc to fit my shoulder. So you see? There's no, no spaces or anything. It just kind of, it's like an extra part of my body, another limb, so that this thing can sit there. So great, super great. Um, I've wrapped some fabric around it just to prevent the um, material that came with this shoulder rest from wearing away. This is kind of like a suede-ish material. It has a little bit of um, resistance on it, so it helps to you know, support the instrument and keep it from sliding around. So you don't want to use something like satin to wrap your shoulder rest around with because that'll be slipping and sliding everywhere. Um, so let me just show you a little bit of this shoulder rest why it's so neat. Okay, you can pretty much bend and adjust every part of this, okay? So these bend around to adjust the angle of the, in of the shoulder rest on the instrument. Also, you can turn this the complete opposite way so that it gives um, more length. So you'd have to take this leg and put it here, but you see how there's added height here? It's really helpful if you're a tall person or if you have a long neck or you're a giraffe or something. <laughs> and what else? Yeah, so basically, I mean, it's, it's basically very simple, but you're gonna have to spend a little bit of time playing around with this because there's so many things that you can do to mold it to fit you exactly the way that you want. Um, the last thing that also is, is important when you're putting on your shoulder rest, now that I've kind of bent it around the angles kind of weird now, one sec, is how do you actually put it on, okay? And this is really important. You can't just put it on like like this, just directly like that, unless that fits you and that's the best way. But for me, what I find is I put it really close to this, the leg of the chin rest. You see there's only like a finger space in between. And then this comes down more at an angle. Sorry, this is weird to put on this way. 
Also because I've been kind of bending this shoulder rest around, moving the legs around. There we go. So you see there's kind of a slight angle here. It's kind of tilting more this way rather than directly straight across. So play around with that as well because you need to put it on the same way every time. Otherwise you're gonna be like, why does this feel weird to me today? It's because the, you haven't paid attention to the way that you've put on your shoulder rest and the angle of it on the instrument. So um, go to a store, don't order online unless you have a return policy and you can like switch and exchange things um, easily. Go to a store, bring a friend, bring your teacher so that you can be with somebody who will um, be telling you, oh, your posture, you need to fix your posture when you're trying this setup. You can't just be like, oh, I'm going to try this slouching. No, you have to always try the, um, whatever you're trying out, the combinations that you're trying out, you need to try them from correct posture, okay? <laughs> so you're going to be playing the, playing your instrument for a long time, long periods of time. So you need to be as comfortable as possible. It's very, very important. Um, so I think that's about it. If there's anything else I forgot, I will just say it below, you know, in the description box. But I hope that helps. Really, this is a very, very fundamental part of playing a stringed instrument like the violin or viola. You need to start from a place of comfort. And from there, you can really excel in your playing and do anything that you want. If you um, are crippling yourself with your being just so discom un uncomfortable, then you're really not going to be able to progress as well, okay? And you're also going to cause yourself neck pains, back pains, other problems over time. And especially if you're a professional, it's so, so important. So don't give up um, if you are uncomfortable because there's something out there for you. There's a lot of different shoulder rests you can use. A pad just to put under here. Um, you, there's lots of different chin rests. Just watch that your chin doesn't go sit on the tailpiece. You, you know, all of the things that I mentioned, I won't make this video like an hour long. Um, but anyway, I hope that helps you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye!